As some of you might know, my name is James Rivera. I am a senior public administration student at the University of Texas at San Antonio. <laughs> Thank you. I was born and raised in the small town of Lufkin, Texas, deep e in Deep East Texas. I am also an alumnus of Communities and Schools of East Texas, where I graduated from Lufkin High School in 2014. I am here to tell you about my experience as a student and the barriers I have overcome in high school and at UTSA. I first became connected with CIS in seventh grade by way of a dare. <laughs> Despite what you see in front of you today, I was a major introvert, and I'm pretty sure I still am one today. Uh, I never really put myself out there socially, and my circle of friends was closed and tight and closed off to outsiders. However, little did I know that this decision was gonna affect me even today, obviously. Uh, through CIS, I was able to take my first ever college tour, take educational field trips, and meet uh, community leaders in my hometown. And that was just in middle school. In high school, I was exposed to more outside of the classroom. I was socializing with other CIS students and trying to get through the crazy world of high school. Little did I know about college. And probably, one of the most important things my psych coordinator did for me was basically push me to look at going to college. I had no idea college was for me. Little did I know that I could attend. But with help from Ms. Perez and the relationship she had with many educators in my high school, I kept my grades up, studied for the SAT, and applied for colleges all around Texas. And now, I am just two weeks away from being the first in my family to get a college degree. In fact, I just turned in my last assignment last night. <laughs> if it had not been for CIS, I probably would not be where I am today. The accomplishments that I have attained would be non-existent and the opportunities that I have pocketed, including a most recent one, where I got to live my dream and work on Capitol Hill here in Washington, D.C., right in a congressional office, would not have been possible. And even hypothetically, if I were to get into college, if without my involvement with CIS National and Communities and Schools of San Antonio, I would probably just be another college student going through the motions. And I want to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Jessica Weaver and CIS of San Antonio for letting me become part of the CIS San Antonio family. Thank you. <laughs> Even then, I would not have been prepared for the roller coaster that was waiting for me in college. The, the courses, the independence, the responsibilities, and all the life-changing experiences. All of this was possible because of CIS. Which, whose goal and mission they push every day in schools and communities across the country. And that's what students need today. Actually, no. Students deserve access to services that help them succeed in school, targeted programs that expose them and prepare them for the next step in life, whatever that may be. And they need that caring adult that my psych coordinator gave, psych coordinator gave me and psych coordinators across the country give millions of students every day. Those are the three tiers that CAS offers millions of students every year. However, that is only part of the solution. Here in our nation's capital, the futures of those students are decided every day by legislators and lawmakers. From city halls to state capitals to the White House, United States Congress, and the Supreme Court, those students from pre-K to 12th grade sometimes do not have a choice as to who represents them, no matter what they say in student council. <laughs> Believe me. However, like what we saw in Parkland, Florida, and the thousands of students across this country, they know they have a voice, and they will use it, and they will make sure that they are heard. It is imperative that we listen to these voices and hear what they have to say, and make sure that we include them in policy decisions and policy conversations, because history not only judges us, by our actions in times of crisis and times of, of change, but it'll also judge us even harder by our inactions and our unwillingness to change and uh, make this country better. Thank you so much for your attention and your time today, 
and I hope to see you again real soon.